Good day everyone and welcome back to another episode. This is the last episode of this series from Cape Town to Windhoek. I was not planning on making a video of Windhoek, but fortunately some of the group members invited me along on a guided tour of Windhoek with the chameleon safaris. Joseph was our guide and he was very informative and entertaining. As I was invited along as a guest on the tour, I didn't want to intrude too much with my camera. I tried to record him a few times, but I apologize if it was not always very clear. So today is a public holiday because it's Africa Day. People are celebrating Africa gaining independence, most of the African countries. So the church we have over here, it's called the Christus Kirche. It was a German church built in 1907. They completed building it around 1907. So they needed a place where they could come and worship their beliefs. So they built this church. So you can see they still standing very well. You can see over there, they were donated by Kai Isabella II, who was the German Empire at the time. And when the engineer put in the window, it was facing outside. He put it in incorrectly. So they have to gather money again. I don't so this church outside it looks very small, but inside it can take up to 600 people. Yes, because they also have an upper chamber there. So where they, when they have a lot of people, maybe a wedding or a function, or the church is just full, they put the chest up there to accommodate everyone. When you walk straight up in front, there's two front row seats. If you have hearing difficulties, you can plug the earphones in and you can hear the service as well. So up until now, the church is, um, they use it for service, mostly if you come on a Sunday, you find the people attending here. We have a large population of the Germans, so most of them come over here. They estimated that uh, around 30,000 plus Germans live in Namibia, so they are the ones that come to this church. And the church, the service is mostly in Deutsch. You need to be able to speak Deutsch in order for you to come. If you can't speak Deutsch, it won't make sense because you won't hear anything. Either you are black or white and you can speak Deutsch, everybody's welcome. Okay? So, so what religion is it? Uh, Lutheran. We have our coffee machine. That looks like a coffee machine. <laughs> this is the Independence Museum. Located in the heart of Ventuk, this museum offers visitors a captivating journey through Namibia's road to freedom from colonial rule. Visitors can gain insight into the lives of prominent figures such as Sam Nyoma and other freedom fighters, as well as the broader social and political context of the time. On the five floors you see the transparent windows over there. You see there's an elevator that is going up. That is uh, how you go inside. You can either use the elevators or you can use the stairs. And this building across the street is the National Museum. It is a prominent cultural institution dedicated to preserving and showcasing the country's rich history, diverse culture and natural heritage. It offers a fascinating glimpse into Namibia's past, present and natural wonders. This white building on the left is a, called the Alte Feste, which is a historic fortress built by the German colonial forces in the late 19th century. This monument here, it's called the Gedenkstatue Freiheitskampf. It features a powerful sculpture of Namibian freedom fighters, capturing the essence of their resilience and determination during the struggle for independence. This striking memorial stands as a symbol of Namibia's journey to freedom from colonial rule. The monument serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by countless individuals and communities in pursuit of self-determination and sovereignty. So the area over here, beautiful. Yes, on our left hand side. That used to be an olive plantation. This one over here. Huh? But at the moment they use it the parliament garden. And the one in the middle. His name is Chief Osea Kutako, he represented the Ocherero people. And this one is Teofeles Amtumbagel. They all played an important role towards the media gaining our independence. The building on our left hand side, that is the National Art Gallery of Namibia. That's where you find most of the creative art 
ever been created by the Namibian people. So like I said, North Korea built seven buildings. I show you already. And uh, in front here, there's another one, the magistrate court. Building over here, the master's building. It was also built by North Korea. Parting for the uranium. Because it was a public holiday, Joseph took us to Katutura, where the local people of Ventuk lives. Katutura is a vibrant and historically significant township on the outskirts of the city. It has a rich cultural heritage and is home to a diverse population, primarily made up of the Herero, Uvambu and Damara ethnic groups. That is called Wintu Central Hospital. So that hospital was only for the white people. It's a black person. facilities for all the staff that work in the hospital. So this hospital was only for white people. So it's named after our current president. His name is Hage Genko. So if you read there, it says University of Namibia, Hage Genko campus. Today, Katutura is a bustling community known for its lively markets, street food vendors and cultural events. One of the more popular things to do on such a day is to go for a traditional Kapana lunch at one of the open air markets. Joseph took us to the Oshetu community market to share with us this experience. Joseph here explained to us how everyone has their part and makes a bit of money. From the woodcutters to the butchers to the ones selling the spices and then the sellers who makes the pop from maize or sorghum and the sauce to go with it. So here they're making a sauce that you eat with the meat. So it goes best when you eat it with this sauce. It's just vinegar and oil and a capana spice. It's a special spice. I will not tell you the special ingredients, but I'll tell you where you can buy it. Yes. Let the water cook until it's fully finished. You put in everything you want, the tomato, the sauces, everything, the spices.
While driving through Katutura, Joseph explained to us how people use different opportunities for entrepreneurship to keep food on the tables. For instance, a taxi driver who takes people into town in the mornings might need to get his car washed. So where he gets his car washed, he can also get a haircut or a shave right next door. Right next door to that, the butcher will be cooking meat for when his customers are getting hungry. And of course, next to that will be the tavern. So that means the taxi driver does not need to go far to get his things done while he waits for the end of the day when his customers has to come back to Katutura from town later in the afternoon. Our next stop was Penduka, which is a non-profit organization and social enterprise. It was founded in 1992 with the goal of empowering and improving the lives of marginalized Namibian women, particularly those from rural areas. Penduka's artisans create a wide range of handmade products, including jewelry, clothing, accessories and home decor items. These products are sold locally and internationally, with the proceeds going back to support the women involved. The organization focuses on empowering marginalized Namibian women through economic opportunities, skills development and social support. They achieve this through the creation and sale of handmade products while also preserving and celebrating Namibian culture and heritage. So here we come also to the end of this uh, episode, probably to the end of the series. This was my last day on this trip in uh, Windhoek. I went a little bit on uh, a city tour and uh, also a tour to the township. And then I uh, now ended up here at the Penduka Craft Center, where uh, some of the ladies uh, from the township also learns how to make uh, crafts out of uh, recycled materials. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. I'd like to thank Sama Tours and Compass Expeditions for this opportunity to travel with their guests for these two weeks. If it wasn't for them, I would not have been able to make this series. For everyone who was watching this series, thank you very much for your support. I hope you enjoyed the trip from my perspective and perhaps learned a thing or two.